Good morning, children. I hope you are all preparing well for the terminal one exams. Our physics terminal one portions are motion and measurement of distances and light. Last week we have revised motion and measurement of distances, and in online classes we have revised bits of this uh, chapter and also this chapter. To this week we are going to recap light. This week we are going to recap light chapter, children. So read the textbook thoroughly, line to line, and also do the book back exercise as well, and write the exam well, children. Now all of you take out your textbooks and open your light chapter, children. We'll go, we'll revise, recap this light chapter. Already, while I am teaching the IIT light chapter, we have uh, uh, completed the CBSE light also, children. Here, just we are going to do the recap of light, children. Revise the light chapter, children. Okay. So in light, what is meant by light? What is meant by light? So light is nothing but form of energy. Light is a form of energy which causes us sensation of vision. It gives us sensation of vision. That is because of light we are able to see. Because of light we are able to see. I would like to say to you, light is an invisible energy. Invisible energy which makes the things visible. I repeat children, light is an invisible energy which makes things visible. Which is the main source of light which we all know? Sun is the main source of light. Sun is the main source of light. So that means there are certain sources of light which devote light on their own. So from this we can say that the sources of light can be classified into two. Sources of light, we can divide sources of light we have. We can divide into two. What are the sources of light we have here? We have natural sources and artificial sources. We have natural sources of light. We have artificial sources of light. What are natural sources of light? The substances which can give light on their own. They are the natural sources of light. What are artificial sources of light? Artificial means man-made. That is the sources of light which are made by man, which gives out light. They are artificial sources of light. For example, you take natural sources of light. Sun, stars, glow worms, etc. Glow worms, etc. What are the artificial sources of light? Artificial sources of light are which are made by man. Candle made by man. Candle. Bulb made by man. Tube light made by man. These are artificial sources of light. These are artificial sources of light. So sources of light can be divided into two categories. Natural sources and artificial sources. Next we have other division depending upon giving out light on their own or not. That means that category is substances are classified into objects can be classified into luminous objects, non-luminous objects. We have luminous objects. Other one is non-luminous objects. What is meant by luminous objects? Luminous objects are nothing but the objects which give out light on their own. What are luminous objects? Luminous objects are nothing but luminous means which gives out light on their own. Light on their own. They are luminous objects. What are the examples for luminous objects? Which gives out light on their own. What are the examples for luminous objects? Sun, stars. Here comes candle also. Bulb, glow worms, etc. These are all luminous objects. Then what are non-luminous objects? Non-luminous objects are nothing but which cannot give light on their own. Cannot give light on their own. Cannot give light on their own. On their own. Examples are table, chair, moon, etc. You all know in the previous class we have discussed moon is an example of non-luminous body because moon cannot give light on their own. Moon gives the reflection of sunlight. Children, all of you here, what we have revised once again, we will see. Light is a form of energy. It is an invisible energy which makes the things visible. And the substances which gives out light, there should be some sources. Sources
sources of light. Sources of light are classified into natural sources and artificial sources. What are natural sources? Natural sources are which gives out light on their own. Example, sun, stars, glow worms. Then what are artificial? Uh, artificial sources of light are nothing but the objects which are made by the man and giving out light. Candle, tube light, bulb. Apart from this, objects are divided into luminous and non-luminous. Luminous means which gives out light on the own. Non-luminous means which cannot give light on their own. Luminous example, sun, stars and also candle, tube light, bulb, all this comes under luminous. Non-luminous is moon, planets and uh, this uh, table, chair and the objects which are we see only when light falls on them are known as non-luminous objects. Okay children, now based upon the passage of light, allowing of light, how, how far it is able to allow the light? Again the substances are classified into three, objects are classified into three. What are they? They are nothing but Objects are classified into three. They are nothing but transparent, translucent and opaque. So transparent objects, you all know this very well. Just this is a revision children. Transparent, translucent, S-L-U-C-E-N-D, translucent and opaque. What is meant by, what is meant by transparent objects? The name itself says it is transparent, very transparent. So, which allows the light wholly, wholly, allows light wholly is called transparent. I repeat children, transparent substances are nothing but the substances which allows the light wholly, full light it allows, they are transparent. Translucent, what are translucent? These are nothing but the substances of the objects. Which allows the light partially. Which allows the light partially. So they allow the light partially. And hence we call them as translucent objects. Partially. Here wholly. What are opaque objects? Which do not allow the light. Which do not allow the light. They are opaque. I repeat children. Which do not allow the light. Once again I will repeat. Transparent objects are nothing but which allows the light only to pass through it. They are transparent. Translucent means which allows the light partially. They are translucent. Opaque means which do not allow the light. They are opaque. Okay children. Now example here. What is the example for transparent? You can take a, a, a clear plastic. Clear plastic you can take. And you can take clear glass. Glass. Very clear glass. Clear water. Clean water, clear water you can take. It should be clean or clear water it should be. Next, what are partially? It is nothing but oil paper, butter paper, etc. Then what are opaque? It is nothing but wood, plastic. These are some of the examples for opaque. So, this is how objects are divided based upon the allowing of light, allowing the light into three categories, transparent, translucent, opaque children. So, here how many classifications we have learned? Three classifications. One is sources of light. So, sources of light are natural, artificial. Other one is objects are classified based upon light emitting on its own, cannot emit light on its own, luminous, non-luminous. And third one is based on allowing of light, passage of light, it is classified into three, transparent, translucent and opaque children. So this three classifications we have learned now. Apart from this, now we will start learning what is about shadows. Shadows means what? How will you get the shadows? What are the requirements to get the shadows first of all? So what is meant by shadow? How will you get the shadow? So now we are going to learn about shadows children. So in these shadows, what are the requirements to form a shadow? What are the requirements you need to form a shadow? First of all, children come on see me. What are the requirements? You just think in your mind. What are the requirements we require? First one is, what kind, what should be there to form, an, to form a shadow for example? First you should have a source of light. Source of light. 
So light should fall on an object. When will you get the shadow? When light falls on an object, then only you get the shadow. You see, my, you are able to see my shadow of the you are able to see my shadow of the hand here. How you are able to see the shadow of the hand? Light is falling on my hand. Light is falling on my hand. So source of light is very compulsory. Second one. There should be an object. There should be an object to get this uh, to get the shadow. There should be an object to get the shadow. Okay, children. What kind of object? This is very important. What kind of object you should have to get a shadow? It should be an opaque object. It should be an opaque object. That means in KK light, you please do this activity at home, children. Take a light, like torch or cell phone torch or something, and use an object, opaque object, opaque object like a pencil, eraser, anything you use, children. And you will take a screen as a wall or something. Then you allow the light to fall on the object. It helps with the shadows, children. It helps with the shadows. From this activity, what we can conclude? We require definitely source of light and object. See, you will have shadow of uh, shadow while I am writing here. That means source of light and opaque object should be there. Next one. Apart from this, what do we require? To see the shadow. To see the shadow. There should be a screen. To see the shadow, there should be a screen. If screen is not there, we couldn't be able to see the shadow. For example, I have a source of light, I have an opaque object, but I should have a screen to light falls on the opaque object. As it is opaque object, it will not allow the light, it blocks the light, therefore it leaves a dark patch on the screen. I repeat children. When source of light falls on an opaque object, opaque object does not allow the light to pass through it. And hence it blocks the light. As it blocks the light, the dark patch forms on the screen. The dark patch forms on the screen. That the dark patch which forms on the screen is nothing but the shadow. Shadows doesn't have any color. They are dark in color. Shadows doesn't have any color. And hence these shadows are formed. Therefore, what are the requirements, children? Definitely we need a source of light. We need a source of light. We need a big object. We need a screen. Here I'll ask you one question. If screen is not present, if screen is not present, does it mean that shadows doesn't occur? No. Screen is there only to visibility. If screen is also not there, shadows are occur, shadows will occur. But screen is the one where we can see the shadow, where we can see the shadow. Okay, children, we'll learn a very, a very few points regarding this shadow children. What can we learn here? Suppose, for example, you take you observe one chair. You observe one chair. How will it be a shadow? Do this all observations at home, children. Do this all observations at home. Now you take a chair, you see the shadow of the chair, you observe the chair, shadow of the chair. When you observe the shadow of the chair, would it appear like a chair? Would it appear like chair? That means shadows, would it appear like chair? That means shadows will not give you complete information about the object. Shadows will not give you will not give exact information exact identification will not give exact identification of the object will not give exact identification of the object I repeat Shadows will not give exact identification of the object. It doesn't have, this point is applicable only in certain cases. In certain cases, you can easily identify the object by seeing the shadow. In certain cases, suppose, in certain cases, ball is a shadow of ball, you will easily say it's a ball. So that means, certain cases, it will give you information. But it is not a complete information. It is not a complete exact true information. It will give you like that will deviate you to the false, false statements. So it will not give you exact identification of the object in all the cases. In all the cases. Next. In all the cases. Next thing children. Suppose you take like a rectangular box. A brick like this. And a rectangular box of the same size. Rectangular box of the same size. If you see this. If you see this. These two shadows, you cannot recognize which is the shadow of the brick, which is a shadow of the rectangular box. That's what I said. It will deviate you. It will not give you exact information, exact identification. For this only, this point is an example. Next step. Suppose you take flowers. 
Suppose I take any rose glass or something. Flowers if I take. I take red color, I take yellow color and I take white color flowers. Roses. Suppose roses only I take red, yellow and white. If I take the shadows. By observing the shadow, I cannot recognize which is red, which is yellow rose, which is white rose. That means you cannot recognize the color recognition. Everything dark patch only will be seen. Color recognition also will not be there. So therefore, what do you understand? Shadows will not give you. Shadows will not give you. Shadows will not give you complete information about the object. Complete information about the object. It will mislead you. It will mislead you. Second one is color identification will not be there as shadows are colorless. Color identification with the also will not be there because shadows are nothing but the dark patches. Shadows are nothing but the dark patches. As if I have covered the shadows information, let us briefly controversially just uh, let us briefly think about images. What are images? Shadows will not give you complete information. Will not give. Will not give. But when you take the images, the images will give you. Images will give complete information. Will give complete information. And these images are colorful. And these images are colorful. And by identifying the images, exact information you will get and also colors also you will see. They are colorful. These are the differences between shadows and images together. Shadows will not give you complete information of the object. Shadows are colorless, they are dark patches. Whereas images will give you, if you see an image of an object, complete information you will get about the object. And also images are colorful. Shadows will mislead you. Shadows will mislead you. But images will never mislead you. Images will give you correct information. Images will give you correct information. This is how I want to show you the difference between shadows and images and uh, how the shadows are uh, formed and what are the requirements which are required for the shadows. Children. Apart from this, what we have covered in this class? We have covered in this class. We have covered in this class the classification. The classification based upon sources of light and uh, natural sources and uh, artificial sources and also other classification based upon other classification based upon emission of light luminous and non-luminous objects and also passage of light that is transparent translucent and opaque and also we have discussed about shadows children and shadows the requirements are sources of light opaque body and a screen and the differences between shadows and images all of you read your textbook thoroughly prepare well children thank you children